This week, if you pick up Vegas 7 magazine, you're going to see the cover on it there. And it says uh, it's the Vegas Macau connection. That's kind of the theme of the issue. And contributor Melinda Shekels traveled to Macau and worked on this story in Macau, hoping to turn things around in its gaming slump by taking a look at our approach. And I know that we've constantly talked here in Las Vegas, Melinda, about how we have kind of other things like nightclubs and pool right. parties and attractions that bring in money. But you were saying Macau does really well in gaming. So why are they looking at us? Well, they do really well in gaming, but in the context of how well they used to do in gaming is what we're, we're talking about here. Okay. They did in one year experience about a 35% fall off. Okay. And a lot of that had to do with the dwindling high roller market. Gotcha. Um, through a series of laws and crackdowns and corruption, high rollers are no longer able to borrow money and bring money into Macau to gamble at very high stakes levels. Okay. So that's been a big turnaround for them. So now they're they're looking at new ways to diversify. Okay. And you went there and you were saying it is pretty luxurious there though, right? It is extremely luxurious and op opulent. I mean, it it is the height of luxury and the casinos are massive, but the Chinese customer is very different than the US customer. So they, for example, don't drink when they gamble. You won't see cocktail waitresses going around the casino there's a lot of they have tea carts actually oh really so yeah that's not something that they culturally do they they do drink afterwards and and maybe even before but they look at gaming as a very serious business so nightclubs have not traditionally done well in macau and it's been very reticent for the u.s nightclub market to go into macau like i also spoke with hakasan group and they're still watching it from the outside to see if macau is really an option for them another thing is we have you know a number of western operators obviously in Macau, such as Wynn, uh, Venetian, Sands, um, and also MGM Macau. So they are all opening properties in the coming year. Um, this is, for wow. example, that was, was M that? that was MGM. It's really gorgeous. Yes. And wow. they're opening properties in what's called the Kotai. So mm -hmm. Kotai is like the new Macau. And that is can be likened a lot to the Las Vegas Strip, whereas Macau Peninsula is a lot like downtown Las Vegas. Okay. Uh, so, you know, some of the people that we talked to for this story include Lawrence Ho, mm -hmm. who's the business partner of James Packer, who's building a lawn. And Lawrence um, operates the Studio City Casino, which can be found on our cover. And he is actually a firm believer in Western nightlife concepts and has two nightclubs in his hotels, even though you won't find nightlife in the rest of the city. Yeah, was I, was I reading that the Wynn opened? Did it open a nightclub and then it closed? Or Wynn, to... Wynn had opened a nightclub yeah. when they first opened and then closed it. Okay, interesting. And then, you know, there have been other people that have kind of gone into the market and then Cirque du Soleil also went into Macau mm -hmm. when the Venetian opened and then closed their show there as well. Mm -hmm. So there aren't, I mean, there are fundamental cultural differences but they're they're kind of inching towards exploring what new revenues what entertainment can bring in terms of revenue mm -hmm. so you enjoyed your time there I know you were saying it was pretty amazing right I mean is it something that we should like people should visit or is it like oh it's just like it, I know it's not similar to Vegas but if we have it here we don't need to go there a hundred percent I always <laughs> recommend you know some of the things that I heard before I went there was you know Macau is a lot like Atlantic City yeah. which it's nothing doesn't like look Atlantic. like it doesn't look anything like Atlantic City I don't know what I don't know what year that that person was talking right. about from but you know Macau changes very fast too right. so no it is it is opulent it is exciting it is um, you know visually if you love architecture if you love kind of the way casinos and things come together you will love Macau the restaurants are really fabulous there's a lot of really great high-level mm -hmm. restaurants Michelin rated restaurants mm -hmm. and you know the room product is very lovely um, so there's a lot of interesting things to explore there you're just not going to get the thumping nightclub Mm -hmm. You'll get shows, but they're also very going to be entrenched around what the Chinese customer is interested in. Right. So not a lot of real Western entertainment. Gotcha. Um, but, you know, it's a wonderful place to explore. All right. Cool. Well, pick up Vegas 7 and check it out. And I love that you took Hello Kitty Air there. I did. I <laughs> took I took uh, a Hello Kitty plane there. And how was it? Uh, it was absolutely fabulous, but I'm a big Hello Kitty fan. Aww. So. So it was like a trip of a lifetime. It was. Me, it really was. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for Thank joining you. us. Stay with us, Rebecca, after this.